welcome back to our channel and I am trying to get this video out tonight I put a video out earlier about what this video was going to be about which was about me having to make a decision on possibly putting my horse to sleep and so this is really hard for me to talk about it's a hard video for me to do um, I'm doing it because I want to let other people know, um, kind of give a heads up if they're ever in a situation like I'm in, just to think about things, to just, it should be self-explanatory as I go through this. Um, I don't want to make this real long because this is going to be ongoing um, and it will be, it, you'll understand more as, as you go through the video. But what's going to happen in this video is I'm going to tell you about what happened uh, or how I got my horse, when I got him, all the kind of the, the back part of that so you understand and now what's happening with him and then going forward. So I got my horse back in 2002. Um, I've had him, he's a little bit, he's about 17 and a half years old. So yeah, I've had him for a little more than 17 years. I've had him his whole life. I raised him. He is like my child. He, I mean, he's been with me longer than my little, uh, than my 11 year old has. So very close to him. Love this horse beyond belief. And he's a great horse. So that's just kind of um, the, you know, the story about him. His name is Indigo. And you're going to see a lot of pictures and video coming up in the video. Um, what happened though was back in October we sold our home and we moved to the beach. So when we moved, we had to do something with our with my horse, and we had a neighbor graciously offer to take him for us, and as long as we paid her some money to take care of him, not a lot, but to take care of all of his feed and everything. So um, got all that straightened out, and she ended up taking him. So. Going into this, she took him and things were great. She seemed to take very good care of him. She seemed to be very knowledgeable. She had her own horses, so I had no worries about him whatsoever. And when we moved, we really had a lot going on because we moved just prior to the holidays. Um, we had our little one who has autism and had a really hard time with the move. So just a lot of things coming up. And she reassured me that, you know, he was fine. I get everything settled and then come see him so time goes on and she had brought to my attention a couple of times about his feet but never in a way that was serious never just just that he needs to have his feet trimmed okay great we'll get his feet trimmed and we'll schedule that and, and all that seemed fine um, she did take him off his feed which that was a mistake of mine gone through all of the uh, ingredients in the feed and that she had a way better uh, way to do this with natural foods and all healthy foods and her horses all looked great so I thought okay sure let's let's try this because I'm going along thinking that he's pretty much okay until I was getting ready to go visit him a week ago and I sent her an email and said hey I'm gonna come out on Friday I'm so excited I'm gonna come see him I want to vlog and I want to see my horse and I sent her that email and immediately the next morning I received an email back from her that said please have something done with him because I'm afraid he's gonna have to be put down because his feet are so bad and I'm gonna have to be the one her meaning her I will have to be the one to put him down if you don't do something about this and I don't want that responsibility yeah 
That's the email I got immediately after I sent out an email all happy that I'm going to come see him. So my when I made my video, my intro video earlier today, I was on my way to go see him under the premise that I was probably going to have to put him down. And when I got there, I try not to cry. When I got there, I was about 100% sure that's what was going to have to happen was my horse was going to have to be put down because when I saw him, I almost I almost fell to the ground when I saw him and the vet equally so because she's been his vet for years. And when she saw him, she was she stopped in her tracks when she saw him and she said, "This is not the horse that I've worked on for years." And so now we're going to roll the clip and you're going to see what happened. And I'll be back with you guys after this to explain what's going to happen from here. So, yeah. Indigo! We'll just walk over. Yeah, we'll walk. I don't want to tear somebody's backyard up. Yeah, if you go to the backyard, it's a horrible living. Well, that's Layla. Uh -huh. Anna's in California. I've seen that she was moving, yeah. Oh, sweetheart. Now, you see the posture and yeah. the leg in the rear? Yeah. That's how he's been standing since the, course, the end of October, the beginning wow. of November. He's extremely thin. Yeah. Well, he's extremely was, thin. He was thinner. And one pound of neutrina every day. Yeah, I was giving him the, what we had him on. Right, right. Yeah. One pound. He was. Yeah, but obviously, if he's losing right. weight, we've got to adjust right. that. Right, right. He's that email extremely that underweight. Is. Yeah. Top weight. His Extremely top underweight. Well, I got pictures of him right when he, uh -huh. the last, I think the day that we moved him, we got, we had some hey. pictures of him. Week in oh, January for, uh -huh. I have no idea why, um, but I thought maybe it was because of the incredible wobble in his knee. He's finally trying to compensate structurally for the support because the wobble's been going on oh, for very, very long time. Oh. Yeah, he's got a little bit of a wobble in the back there. The rear leg, do yeah. you see the rotation? Yeah. yeah, right there on the left side. Okay, now that's the first time he's moved beyond a walk in three months. Yeah. So be careful with him there. I mean, he listens to you, he's very cooperative. The other thing is, even before the bow tendon, he would not raise his right rear leg. He'll raise the left one, but he will not raise the right one. We'll stay out here, Tweety. Okay? There's already a lot of people in there. Now, I've been putting Beagle oil, just a light rub on it, to help stimulate circulation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I have not, and I wrapped it the first week that it was bowed. But the wrapping did absolutely nothing to change the condition of the overall movement of that leg. Right. And when, when did this start? I noticed the wobble. When was that first email I sent? Let me, well, wait a minute. I wrote it down. I first read you about the wobble in the email in the first week in November was when we noticed it. And we were waiting for Rob to come out because I didn't know if it was hoof related that he wouldn't put weight on that leg. Right. So Rob couldn't get here, he went back and forth. He was 13 weeks overdue for his trim, and I thought it's possible that it was hoof related. But Rob mm -hmm. took one of those prongs okay. and tested mm -hmm. the whole hoof, and he said absolutely not. And then he walked the horse and he pulled on his tail, and his whole back end just flew sideways. Mm -hmm. And Rob said, that's not right. He said, that's not stable at all. And he suggested, um, what is that, EPM? Um, well, EPM is a neurological disease. That's what Rob thought it was. Mm -hmm. He said, I think we're dealing with a neurological issue. 
because he said there's nothing in the hoof and at that time he didn't have the bow tendons. But he still, Rob couldn't get him to pick up the leg. See, I thought at first maybe he was just, because I didn't know him, you know, I didn't live in the counter, but Rob knew him. And Rob, he was crying really hard. He cried, but his whole leg started to quiver in face. And I was afraid he was going to go down. So Rob said, I'm sorry, I'm not going to trim him. Very minimal heat in that. Yeah, I, well, even with the bugs, you're fixing the fence. Yeah, but you never know what's in that leg <laughs> to start out with. That was the confusing part. Even Rob get said, cut, that no stuff will stab you. No swelling. I can't okay. tell you why the joint is. You don't want to get, like, poked by it. Give him his vaccine to pull his okay. pockets and yeah. then we're going to do a full, just because I have them in my pocket. That's fine. Yeah. Um, and I don't want him to get okay. hot. Well, we, we asked him to try. <laughs> he will always go to that, so he'll walk on it. Yeah. But he always goes to that. So basically what is going on with him that what we suspect is first of all he has a bowed tendon and the bowed tendon is secondary to the neurological issues he's having from the EPM which is a neurological disorder from caused due to a parasite feeding off the ground horses get worms they have to be dewormed and so forth um, possums they can get this from possums it's probably most likely that it was from a possum because there's many of them out there. Um, the, uh, ah, can't think of the name of the animal, but um, the, uh, oh, 
anyway so it's probably due to uh, from a possum spreading you know going to the bathroom in the pasture and then the horses pick it up and this could be going on for a very long time it could just be now it's the onset of it so he has to be treated for this and it, the treatment is a very very expensive we do not know for sure if that's what it is it could be a few things but the vet feels pretty comfortable with he has to go forward with some very expensive treatment monthly and this could be for about six months. So first what we have to do is we have to wait for the blood work to come back and find out what it is. We're pretty sure it's the EPM. The EPM will have to have treatments and the treatments are very expensive. It's not going to necessarily, he's not going to be 100%, but he will get better to where he doesn't have that. Um, he, he'll gain weight, he'll feel better, and it, he won't have the the disease still on setting on him it's not going to get worse which could be definitely f fatal um, that's where I'm at right now and I will find out more probably by Wednesday or Thursday and I will update you guys on that and as we go forward I'm going to vlog his recovery and let you guys know what's going on with him and show you when I get him back healthy because that's my thought is he is going to be back healthy, strong, and in a better place. So I guess that's the, I guess that's the summary of my whole video. If I have a message, but I'm gonna wait just because I need to see what's gonna happen. For now, just please say some prayers for my horse, send us goodwill thoughts, put them out there in the universe for us, and comment and like this video because it's really hard for me to do. Uh, and think about subscribing so you can see his recovery and because he is going to recover so thanks a lot for watching and I do need to do a channel shout out so let okay so today's channel shout out goes to Rico's story because I did a shout out to you and I'm so sorry because it got covered by my annotations and um yeah, you guys need to check his channel out. He's awesome. I love your videos and love your channel. So you guys go check out his channel and give him a big thumbs up on his videos. Subscribe and let us know what you think about this video. So comment below and let me know what you think. Should I have put him with my neighbor? Should I have looked to put him somewhere else? What do you guys think? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to move forward and, and not really look at what, it, what I should have, could have, you know, all that. I'm trying to look at what I need to do here forward. But sound off. Tell me your thoughts, and um, I'd appreciate it. So have a great night, guys. See ya. Bye.